What's up guys, so today Reddit announced that they're now supporting some the new CSS styles, a couple of different things like transitions, transforming, and different things. So I just wanted to cover very basic transitioning because it can do some pretty cool stuff. So the first of two things we're going to do, the first thing is going to be transitions on the buttons instead of just changing colors and transitions of the picture on the sidebar. So if you watch the other videos and you probably have the code, if not, at least the first one will help you because everyone's got these buttons automatically. And transitions are really easy to use, so I mean I'm going to put the code underneath in the description, but it's really, it's not too difficult. So these two buttons, you refer to them with the dot more link, and then get some brackets going, and put all the code in there. So, for transitions, it's pretty complicated, but you have to use the word transition. I know, it might be a little difficult to remember, but that's what it is. So, if you're like me, you might constantly forget how to spell transition, but there's no S in between the I and the T, as I figured out numerous times when I misspelled it. And what you want to do is put in a, a length of time. So it would be like a number and then S for seconds. And I didn't try M, see if like minutes, but that would just be weird if you did like a minute long transition, but maybe like pictures you wanted like a minute, I don't know. So I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, nothing changed, but get ready. So I'm about to blow your mind. Look at that. Get a little swishity swish going on over here. Some color swooping. It's good stuff. And now there's a couple of different options, I guess, when it comes to transitions. There's linear, which if you look, it's very even. There's no like speeding up or slowing down. It's kind of like very evenly pulling down a window shade. You have ease, which, as you can see, it starts off slow and then speeds up, which is definitely more noticeable if this was bigger. You have ease out, which starts and then slows down at the end, and there's a couple different ones. There's a website that has all the different stuffs in it, and I'm going to put that link to the website in description, and I highly recommend you play around with it. It's a lot of fun. Because, I mean, you start throwing colors in here, and you get some pretty crazy stuff going on. Like, for example, if I set the background to red, let's see if this works. So here, so that's red, and now it's transitioning to the blue, and you can see it kind of like, kind of like a seizure of some sort. So, I mean, it's different because this is changing to a picture because it's it's a picture usually it's a picture background but I like change to a color so it gets all confused but yeah so there's transitions and stuff like that one thing that doesn't work that was pretty awesome one thing that doesn't work is if you use gradients it doesn't work with transition yet not a reddit thing it's just a CSS thing it's just it's not capable of doing transitions with gradients which I tried before I found out that doesn't work was, you know, totally not a waste of time. So that is that. I'm going to save that so you all can see that now. So it's very exciting. Now, you can go, you'd think like, oh, you need like whole numbers with words and stuff, but surprisingly enough, you don't need whole numbers. So I'm going to keep going lower until you get a nice little quick animation. I'm put it point, what did I just do? Point three seconds. Let's see that. So you see that? It looks kind of like it like happens automatically almost, kind of in line with the cursor, and you can just bounce back and forth. It's like, woo, oh man, this is so exciting, ooh, yeah, woo. It's pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Now, the next thing that I'm going to cover, so that's, if that's all you came for, you can, you can go now. Next thing I'm going to do is showing how to do a little transition effect with pictures. Um, I didn't spend too much time, you know, playing around with it, so it's not going to look like the greatest thing in the world, but hopefully with the idea you can play around some more with it figure it out. So if you watched my previous videos, we got this picture in 
by with this code over here. So if you think about it, if you want to get a transition, first what you want to do is change what the hover is. I'm t talking transitions, not like automatic, I'm talking the same transitions as these buttons. So like, when I put my mouse over the pancake, I want a picture of a different pancake to appear. So you're going to copy and paste this and change this. You do colon hover, and that's how you affect anything like with regards to hover stuff. Like if you ever want like different colors of words when you hover over it, you would just use the same code, but you change it to hover, and then you change the color of the background. So we do the same thing here, but I'm going to change this image to a different image. I uploaded another picture of a pancake, so that's what I'm going to use. Call it second pancake. And now if I preview it, you probably you probably have seen something like this on different subreddits where you can like hover over and it's like whoa, changes pictures. It's so cool. But now, now you have the power to transition things. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We'll do transition two seconds. And now, get ready for some cool stuff to happen. I misspelled transition again, even though I wasn't going to. Now, here we go. You ready? Brace yourself. Oh, is that not amazing or what? It's like zooming in on that wonderful syrup. I noticed if you, like, hit it before it hits the end, it'll jump. And that probably has to do with the transition properties, which you could probably play around with. But it definitely, that only affects it because it's such a long tra transition. If I lower it to, like, a second, the chances of it happening within the second are much lower. So, you know, it's a lot better. And if I did, like, 0.6 seconds, it will be like... Oh, pancake, man, this is so cool. So, I'm going to save that. Just remember, if you ever want to grab all the stuff off of here without like getting it off every video, you just go to this, this little dude, this little link on top. And same thing for any subreddit you want. Just, you know, change that to whatever subreddit you want. And voila. It's, it's a thing. So, yeah, hope that helped you guys out a little. And, you know, definitely easiest way to learn this stuff is just, you know, Google, find out the different properties, play around with it, and, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, have a good night, and bye Watch Dogs, because it's going to be awesome.